In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to introduce you to the new AI Animate Video tool. I haven't rehearsed this tool. I'm going through it live with you. So we'll see if it makes sense to you or me as we follow the process. I have one video and I've pre-cut it to exactly 10 seconds because that's one of the options that we have. And let's see if that works in this tool. So let me take and click on the Animate Video option. Then it gives me several things that I can look at. I can create, and if you hover over these, it looks like you have something like the original on the left and then the version on the right. And it looks like you basically are looking at shots of people. And so let me take this romantic one since it fits the characters I have here. You notice it deals with credits. And when I click here, I start out with uh, 200 credits. So I'm going to do something that won't eat up a lot of them. Let's try the romantic one here. See what happens. I'll click on that. Highlight that. Click on Start Now. Then it tells me how much I want. 10, 20, or 30 seconds. Those are my limits. I'll do with a 10 second one. Click on Continue. Then they have some recommended for best results. You want subject at a medium distance, facing front, a clear structure. I think that qualifies. We want to avoid real close to the camera, small objects, rapid motion, complex background, or hands in front. Interesting. And you can obviously turn this on or off. So it's going to do the work remotely. But let's see how it works on this one. I will click on Import Video and let's see what we get with this. It looks like it wants to do anything I have here. Nothing in my media room. Hmm, interesting. I'll just pick the same one here. Maybe it'll give me the cut that I want inside it. I'll click on Open. Ah, okay, here we got it. It's the same as I did in my cut. So we're just going to take this and see if we can move it a little bit. Something like that. All right. So I've got my selected length of 10 seconds and I can click on replace video. I don't know if I wanted to do that. I'll just click on generate and it will cost me 30 points, whatever that means. Let's click on that and see what happens. So it's going to upload my video to their location and the upload speed isn't too bad it looks like this is real time so let's see how it goes if i need to shorten this i will and now it looks like they have it they say it will process it and it will take 13 minutes i will pause this recording then we will get back to this when we have the 13 minutes done and see what the next step is on the screen so you know how to use this process. It says in the lower left corner of the panel, your generated videos will be available, viewable for one year. So apparently that's the length of the storage that you have in CyberLink PowerDirector once they've taken your video and modified it. After the two minute countdown, I saw this screen. So it's given me the product. I can view it. I think I'm going to, instead of viewing it, try to download it. Let's see what's happened when we click on the box in the upper right. Now I can either delete it, which would be silly, or let's download it. Let's download the product, see what we get. Okay, then it looks like it simply wants to put it into my file system. So I'll navigate there. I'll pause this while I do that. And I've selected my folder, and it says Download Complete. Once to open the file location, I'll click on that. And let's see, here is my romantic MP4 back in my main program. I'm going to close this out now. And we'll close out the generator. Go back up here. Did it put it in? No, it just put it in my computer system, in my storage area. So we'll uh, go back to the place where I have my elements. And we'll see if I still have it where it said it put it, right here. And now I have this video. The generation time is about 13 minutes for 10 seconds. You can imagine what you're going to be looking at if you're going to go for 30 seconds. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. 
that's an approximation of that particular one. So you could take something like this and then you could layer the, the other one on top of it. Now if I were going to do this, I would make sure my original uh, that I got it from was exactly 10 seconds because I didn't have the start and stop frame marked here. So I don't know exactly what frame it's from. So to layer them and get them in sync would be a challenge because my original one is longer. And this doesn't match my pre-cut for size. But you could move maybe from the original into the other one uh, or back back and forth so you have that kind of animation you would put one on one track and one on the other but then you'd have to link them up I don't have audio in this track so I can't sync it by audio which would be the easy thing to do if I were to do it over again I would make sure I had those things down I would have my original track to the length I want either 10 20 or 30 seconds and then it would be very easy to say switch from real life to anime in this particular usage. That's basically what I would do. I would imagine you can apply any other effects you want to in editing the video that you see here. But that gives you a little bit of a preview of what this tool is, what it can do. It's basically, we'll do the work for you and it's, it's free up to a point and then you get to pay for it. As a video editor, I'm not too excited about that option, but there might be some cases where this would work out great and if that would fit your usage, go for it. But you've had a look at, at what you can do with this tool in CyberLink PowerDirector.